think uh, I'm going to leave it to the experts to let you know what's going to happen to the because I think uh, whatever I say is going to be wrong. <laughs> and the uh, reality is uh, I'm not in a position where I can predict commodity pricing. Okay. Uh, what I'm in a position to do is actually be a provider of equipment uh, from our products and services to the industry right. and to make sure that we take care of our customers. Right. And at this time, what we're hearing from our customers is that they want us to focus on productivity, they want us to focus on life cycle cost out, and that they want us to make sure that we keep them productive. Right. Obviously, this is a uh, volatile industry, it goes through cycles. Right. Uh, we've seen these cycles before. I'm sure we'll see these cycles again, and uh, it will go through multiple cycles as we go forward. Right. Uh, we really do focus on what we control, and at this moment in time for uh, G oil and gas, we're focusing on execution at hand, okay. and really taking care of our customers. Right. But given the situation as it is, I appreciate you don't want to comment on specific to the pricing, yeah. but what would be your outlook for the sector in the sense that how will this yeah. Given the what it is, what would be? So I think, um, so Thomas, I think you, you, you break it down into a couple of aspects of what you know and how things are evolving. Right. And when you look at the what you know from a macro perspective, you know that energy demand is increasing. Okay. So from a long term perspective mm -hmm. and the outlook, there is going to be ongoing demand for oil and gas. Mm -hmm. and as you look at the aspect of population growth, you look at industrialization, the emerging middle class, <coughs> uh, emerging countries uh, in Africa, Latin America, you look at China continue to grow, India, right. this energy demand. So long term, uh, we feel good about the industry 